let us see what are the types of pages in business central so this is an another important thing which i wanted to discuss with you all um this is my page you can go and check here if you go and check you can find the ebooks okay so mastering business central functional consultant q and a and this is al mastery uh, in 3 weeks that is 21 days boot camp content book content and this is microsoft dynamics al programming al programming interview questions okay so whatever we have discussed here in 21 days based on these things i have framed some 100 plus question not only 100 plus is 120 plus questions which are specifically on al programming whatever discussed here which is with the question answer scenario based question direct question and everything in this particular book okay so i'll be leaving this link okay so you can find this link here if you just scroll down you can get it or else you can just click on this business central technical you can find the books business central functional you can find the book and i'll be uploading the uh, future books also here ebooks here if you want it you can get it so all the indian residents can easily get it from here and if you are a foreign resident and if you want to avail the book please leave your comments so this is for your information and this 41 days boot camp book is all will be available here in the future okay and the uh, inter uh, inter interview questions and everything will be updated here so please keep an eye on this so in business central we have nearly 13 pages okay 13 type of pages uh so i hope you all might have know this but you all should know if you are new to this uh, business central then you should know what are the types of pages we have and when to use uh, what type of page okay and if you already know this so please uh, <clears throat> you can understand what are the types of pages we have if uh, you feel like any additional uh, additional points can be discussed then please leave that in the comment so we have uh, nearly 13 type of pages so first one is what the role center page okay so the role center page is the main pages which is the main page okay so in role center page once you open uh, any business central you know you can see the role center page okay so uh, a role center page we have and uh, the headline part okay the, so you will use a headline part page type to display set of changing headlines on a role center you can see this headline part as well in the business central role center page okay the next one is the list page so the list page is what this page will display a list of records from a table or query so users can filter sort and search the list of uh, list to find the record so list is like you all know right it uh, list means it it will show all the records in a single page okay and you should know when to use the list page okay so uh you might create a list page you know to display all open sales order what are the sales order which has happened if you want to display that you can do that and users can filter sort and search the list to find uh, list to find the records they needed we have a list part here so in the list part so list part is similar to the list page okay it displays the content from a table in a list format but the only difference is what uh, that you use the list part page as an another page in a fact box okay so and or as a part of a role center page okay if you want the demo for all these pages i will definitely show you in another video if you want it please comment it okay so this video is to tell you what are the types of pages okay the next one is a card page so this page so when to use the list part okay so for example if you might add a list part to the customer card page that shows all open invoices for that particular customer at that specific customer then it will show okay list part you can think like this okay um uh, one minute you can think like this so this is the list page okay this is the uh, available customers customer 1 customer 2 customer 3 customer 4 okay so this is the list page if you click on customer 1 it will show you the card page okay and in the card page we have the card part okay and if you click on that particular card part it will show you what are all the sales which has happened it will show the list of sales which is purchase, uh, purchased or which has happened transaction happened by uh, through this particular one customer okay that is the difference 
so this is about uh, list part list page and card part so when to use the card page okay so next one is the card page so card page uh, we'll be using it for example if you might uh, you have to create a card page for the customer record so user can open the card page for a specific customer and view that specific customer's details information sales history and other details okay and you have a card part so card part page um, uh, it's usually for example you might add a card part page to the customer card page that shows their recent contact history okay and next one is the confirmation dialog so confirmation dialog uh, pages are used to prompt the user to confirm an action such as deleting if for example if you are trying to delete some record from the customer table so it will show a confirmation so it is not like an alert message okay alert or message function which we usually use in the business central pages but this is like a separate page to confirm the user must confirm the action before it is executed okay that is what the confirmation dialog so for example the user must confirm the action before it is executed so you can create a dialog page for the prompt the user to confirm any deletion of the record a specific customer record and the next one is a list plus okay so the list plus is basically uh, used to display a list of records that can be customized by the user that users can easily customize users can add and remove columns sort and filter list everything and save their customized view for the user okay so for example you can create a list plus page for inventory items allowing users to customize the columns displayed and filter the list of list by item type or location okay this is list plus navigation page so navigation page as the name itself we can understand the navigation is from uh, some hierarchy like from one place to another page you are trying to move okay provide a hierarchical uh, navigation structure for the application so you might use a navigation page to provide a menu for all the available modules in the application okay like where you can use it for example you might use the navigate page to provide a menu for all the available modules in the application you can see that like what are the list of like it's like it works like a um, uh, uh, something which it it will show you like what are the available modules which are, which are there in that particular application okay and next one is a worksheet so worksheet page is uh, is a type of page which to create a worksheet or journal task page okay so basically uh, worksheet pages are perform some uh, data analysis if you want to do some data analysis to that you might create a worksheet page to analyze sales data by region or product category and uh, sales rep something like that okay so next one is what uh, the document page so the document page so the document page basically we'll be using the document pages uh this is used uh, uh to allow the users to create and manage various types of documents such as sales order purchase order and invoices so for example you might create a document page for sales order uh, users can enter new sales order edit existing ones and track the status for orders that are in progress okay that's like a document page and finally it's an api we all know that api is application um programming interface but api pages are used to provide programmatic access to the business central data and functionality that is same like if you want to access the api then you will be creating an api page you can even create an api page developers can use api to integrate business central with other system or to build custom applications that interact with the business central so finally for example you want you might create an api page to allow an external system to retrieve customer data or create sales order in the business central so if you want i can upload this complete pdf in my blog you can check that okay so um, this is subject to change so you, uh, microsoft may add a few more pages okay or you may not get it so it's all depends on uh, you will be having only 13 pages but anyhow these pages will be used basically we will be using in a regular uh, uh, pro uh, irregular uh, programming we'll be using the card page for sure list page for sure and uh, list plus card part list part okay list plus is very rarely used standard dialog we will use navigation page we will use okay api we will use role center page is probably the master uh, uh, page like right? the main page 
headline part okay rarely used uh, might be we can say like rarely used by me uh, so the worksheet page okay other than that you will be using almost everything uh, uh, whenever it is used whenever you want it okay so i hope everything uh, you understand the concept here if you have any other specific um, uh, theoretical concept which you just wanted to understand it better please leave that in the comment i will try to help you out thank you take care bye bye